Viva Democrats, viva! Viva! Democrats and South Africans are heading to the polls in exactly eight days' time. We must ask ourselves what this election is truly about. Many will knock on your door. They will promise you a million houses, knowing very well that they will not deliver them, like the president did in Alex in the last election. They will promise jobs for our young people, while seven out of ten of them are without imisebezi. Many will promise to be tough on corruption. God, we in 27 years, ahuga banjo namnye umtu obey mal yabantu. Instead, they will protect the politically connected fiercely. They will do so at the expense of millions of South Africans who have to beg to receive what rightfully belongs to them. They will shield the likes of Umkize. They will shield the likes of Mabuyane. They will shield the likes of Kodwa from accountability. The ANC Democrats have shown us who they really are, and it is it's about time we believe them. A party that is a shadow of its former self that stopped caring about voters a long time ago. And that is why today I'm imploring you to think about a post-ANC South Africa where your towns and cities are working as they should. Yeah, yeah. On the 1st of November, Masikweshe Umbuto, Oza Ukunsegi Sukuba, Izitratos Togegile, Umbane Ukona, Amanzi Akona, Izindu Zikona, Abandu Baya Ufumanu Misebenzi. Gone are the days where political parties have to fool us into voting for them, yet they fail to deliver on the promises that they make year after year, election after election, and dupe us into blind loyalty. We stopped doing that a long time ago. On the 1st of November, we must remember that it's the people who have the power. You, Democrats, have the power. All of you have the power. And not the other way around. Sing any sumuto that truly gets things done. Sifagi Democratic Alliance that has changed the fate of Cape Town, that has changed the fate of Midval. These cities have become the beacon of hope in a country like ours. Sifaga EDA that has changed the fate of the people who live in this municipality. Midval, which is not far from you, is a municipality that has been governed well for the past 20 years. It has changed the lived experiences of the citizens for better. We are sending a clear message to those who believe that they will rule until Jesus comes. We are saying, This is the key difference, Democrats, between the DA and those other parties. We are not asking for the next 34 years of broken promises. What we are asking is five years of clean government, of good governance in our cities, in our towns across the country. We want to do for the rest of the country what we managed to do for Cape Town, what we managed to do for Guha, what we've been managing to do for Midval, and what we've started to do in NMB and in Swale. This is how confident we are in our ability to get things done. We have fielded excellent candidates in every single ward in the country. We have a mayoral candidate that have tabled their plans to change things in their metro. Unlike the ANC that has no mayoral candidates, that has fielded Mayor Ramaphosa throughout this country. We don't know. Is he going to be the mayor of East London? Amen. Is he going to be the mayor of Johannesburg? What is happening? Why is there only one man on the poster? Unlike yeah. them, Democrats, yeah. we are confident in our people. Yeah. We know who our people are. And we are saying to voters, you will know who you are voting for. It is not by accident, Democrats, that every independent indicator
Minister states that the top five municipalities in South Africa are DA led. It is because it's Misen Ugusebenze Labant. It is because it's Misen Ugusebenze Labant. If you no longer want to live in a broken town or a city where service delivery has become a buzzword, vote for the DA next week. Give us a chance to show you what true delivery looks like. about the DA. Yeah, but no. even they know they can't deny that we get things done. Yeah. Even they can't deny that our band who me babo bungono and that is our single most important commitment. It is the promise that we will do more where we govern and we will start the process of cleaning out the rot where you will vote us in for the first time on the 1st of November. As Umdam Cha who comes from an ANC governed Buffalo City municipality, I can tell you the indignity of Ungabinam Sebenz. I can tell you that in a badly run municipality, Imi Sebenz Ayiko, Abandu Betu have to suffer under a badly run municipality. Jobs will only come from towns and cities that work. Jobs will only follow where there's clean government. Jobs will only be awarded with everyone who qualifies, not based on the color of your t-shirt. That's not how we operate. That's not who we are. We give people equal opportunity. Vote for the DA, not because we are entitled to your vote or because we say we will govern until Jesus comes, but because we can and we have changed lives for the better. And that is why, Democrats, we've got to get up on the 1st of November. We've got to go cancel the contract with the ANC. We're going to go and reclaim our power. We're going to go and reclaim our cities because we know that will get things done. We Viva! 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 Democrats, I'm here to deliver an urgent message today. In the next five to ten years, many of the municipalities in this country will cease to exist and their collapse will have devastating consequences for honest, hard-working people and for the future of this country. Today, more than 64 municipalities in South Africa are classified as dysfunctional. Yeah. And you don't need to check whether your municipality is on that list. You already know. Yes. These are the municipalities where the taps run dry and the power stays off even after ESCOM load shedding ends, where comrades and cadres steal COVID relief funds or they just steal the whole bank account, yeah. as we've seen with the VBS scandal, or should I say, the EFF scandal. Yeah. If you live in these municipalities, these ANC municipalities, you don't know when the streetlights will be fixed, when the potholes will be fixed, when the bins will be collected, if you're lucky enough to, in fact, have a bin. You don't know where you are on the housing waiting list. You don't know if you will have a chance to have a home of your own that you can pass on to your children. You don't know what is happening with your rates and taxes, and you don't know who to talk to because the ANC mayor is missing. In fact, if you vote for the ANC on the 1st of November, you don't even know who you're voting for because the ANC tells us that they can replace the candidates that win these elections. You also don't know which faction of the ANC you will be voting for. But it doesn't make a difference. The result will be the same. But what you must know is that things cannot go on like this. The story of municipalities that have been ruined and ransacked by the ANC will have an ending. And it's not going to be good. I am telling you today that if you live in one of those 64 dysfunctional municipalities, there is going to be a day zero for service delivery. In the next decade, municipalities like J.B. Marx and Mfuleni and Maribeng and Gavin Mbeki and even Manga Hung are going to run out of taxpayers' money. One day in the near future, the lights are going to go off 
and they're not going to come back on again. Yeah. The water is going to go off and there's going to be nobody to fix it. Yeah. The sewage plants are going to break down and communities will have to ask for volunteers to fix it for free. No matter how Samu goes on strike, there will be no money to pay salaries and contractors. There will be no national government bailout because we already know, we already know that the ANC in Parliament voted to transfer what was left to SAA and ESCOM. But Democrats, that does not need to be the end of the story. We can write our own story on the 1st of November. The party that runs the top 10% of municipalities in this country, the party that gets things done, is also the party that can fix the worst municipalities. That party is the DA, but we can't do it without a massive blue wave on the 1st of November. And the answer is not on for a klein opposition party to stem. That helps me to stem for a 2% party and you verwacht a great change. I think it's jammer to see how it works. As you have a DA regering will have, so in Stellenbosch, in Mosselbaai, in Kaapstad, in Midwal, then you have to stem for a DA. There is not one party that is great enough for the ANC to stop and for the influence of the EFF to bepark, and that is the DA. A stem for a kleiner opposition party, for deel the opposition, for swak the DA and for stark the ANC. And weet you what? This is a great time for the EFF to make the ANC and it further to radicalize. We can't play with four. Stem for a party that you can do. Stem for a party that people can come together. Rijk and arm, wit and swart, young and old. A party that a bewoonbare toekomst can skip here in South Africa. Stem for the DA. This is our team.